We're inside a 650 horsepower mobile boiler room that we just completed and it's getting ready to roll out into our fleet. Now this boiler's got a high efficiency burner on it. Now just because it's high efficient doesn't mean that it's always gonna be efficient if it's not set up correctly. Now we haven't had a Hey Jude segment in a while, so we're gonna go check out Jude Wolf, who has a demo set up to talk a little bit about combustion today on The Boiling Point. The importance of proper combustion tuning is both financial and mechanical. Uh, excess air or insufficient air is going to impair our combustion efficiency and it's going to lead to higher fuel bills. But it can also reduce our ability to generate steam if we build up soot or we carry too much air through the process. What we've got an example of here is a very lean flame because the air aperture on this burner is wide open. What we do when we tune a boiler is using feedback from the stack, adjust that to get the optimal flame. An optimal flame allows you to get the most BTUs out of your cubic foot of gas. So the question is, is the less air the better? Not necessarily. If we reduce the air beyond full combustion of the fuel, we'll rapidly soot the heat exchanger and we end up with much higher fuel bills. We can actually get a buildup of soot in very short time uh, as a result. In this instance, you can actually see the soot forming on the side of the vessel. The exact same thing can happen on the inside of your tubes on a fire tube boiler or inside the firebox on a water tube boiler. And that soot's gonna continue to create uh, more and more insulation between the flame and the vessel and result in less and less heat transfer. I'm just adjusting this by hand and it's really a fixed rate of flame but we can actually see we're getting more heat transfer now than we are when we have excess fuel and not enough air. We've got the same amount of fuel going into the process, but because not all of the fuel is actually being combusted, uh, our boiling rate's dropping. So theoretically with this, we could actually adjust till we got the highest boiling rate and that would be the most efficient point. On your burner, you're going to have modulating fire. Uh, so you're going to have linkages or servos that position the fuel and air as required through the firing range to meet your demands. So we'll use the analyzer on the stack to determine what our final result is and optimize it throughout the firing range. Well, appreciate Jude coming in, talking a little bit about combustion with us. Now remember, Jude Wolf is one of our instructors in our Boiler University, so if you haven't checked out all of the classes or a little bit about Boiler University, click right here, and you can always follow us right here on all of our social media. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.